Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. On this channel, we do daily content talking about different emulators, ROMs, homebrew games, utilities, ports, you name it. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I hope you enjoy this one. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at an awesome VPK file that allows us to install 20 different emulators for our Adrenaline PSP app and this is great. As you can see we have all sorts of different emulators and it takes about 3 minutes for them to fully install and it's great because it will throw them right into the correct folder, the correct partition and have them ready for you at your disposal which is great. So, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go to our Vita shell. Perfect. And we want to enable our USB connection. So let's go back, press select, go to our USB drive on our PC, and let's begin. Head on over to the first link in the description down below and that'll take you to github.com and here is the PSP emulators installer version 1.11 and a huge shout out and thanks to the hero GAC for compiling this awesome VPK file for us and can't thank this guy enough so here is the link the PSP.emulators installer VPK click on that link and it'll start downloading it's 61.8 megabytes Looks like it's finished, let's show in our folder, here we go. And let's open up our Vita USB drive. And now you can just simply copy this into the root of your USB drive. Or if you have a VPK folder like I do, you can just copy that in there. And it takes about 5-10 seconds for it to complete. Perfect. We can now head on over to the Vita and install the application. Alright, so let's find that VPK file and mine's going to be under the UXO folder. Under the VPK folder. There we go. And there is the PSP emulators installer. Press X, say yes. And press X again to install. Now that it's finished, we have to locate our PSP emulator folder and that's going to allow us to install the emulators in the correct folder. So let's check our UXO folder and the folder is going to be called PSP emu emulator. Go in there and we see our ISO, PSP, things like that. Perfect. And you can always check your URO folder and your UMA folder depending on how you have your Vita configured. So let's go home and now we can install the emulators. There it is. Very nice wallpaper there, looks great. Let's start the application. And now it says PSP emulators installer. Press cross to install emulators for adrenaline on UXO and it says press circle to install emulators for adrenaline on URO press triangle to install emulators for adrenaline on UMAO so we are gonna press X or cross and press start to exit if you have to go back and double check let's press X please wait three minutes press OK to continue press X Alright, after several minutes, we have a system message 
The emulators have been installed on the partition UXO. Press X for OK. And now we can press start to exit. Oh, it looks like it, it ran adrenaline right away. Interesting. Let's start that up. have a hard time saying adrenaline. Adren adrenaline. <sighs> okay, so all of our emulators should be under the memory stick in game. Let's go and enter. And there we go. Here is our first emulator. We have the Neo Geo emulator for PSP, version 2.3.5. Master Boy version 2.10. Emulator for PSP. I'm not sure what this one is. Let's take a look. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. Next up, we have Simple Flames. Not sure what that one is either. We have Fuse PSP. The Diatalus X64. Wonder which version this one is. It doesn't say. The Capcom Play System the CPS1 emulator for PSP and this one is the arcade systems that you see in like the malls and stuff and this is the emulator for those games because those are specific games for the arcade systems that you have to put quarters in and there's really not another way to obtain or play those games next up we have Colim PSP version 2.6.1 Vice PSP C64 3.2.5 we have CMS Plus PSP, SNES 9, XTYLCM mod, the SNES emulator, Race PSP, Vectrex. Wow, we have a Vectrex emulator? This is an old school system, really old school, retro uh, for the uh, old gamers. And we have the, what is this, the Commodore? Looks like the Commodore. Awesome music, I love it. PSP Thumb version 1.2.1. 1 .1. Not sure what this one is either. And we have the Intellivision. Nice, look at that. This is great, guys. We have all these awesome emulators with this great wallpaper. The PC Engine. This is great. And we have the PSP Cap 32 port. The Atari 5200, wow, the Atari 5200, that thing's a beast. The Atari RI, or Atari 7800. This music is so cool. Check that out. Wow. And the Pico Drive, 1.92. So, uh, we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 emulators for the PSP Adrenaline app on your Vita. This is great. What more can you ask for? 20 emulators, that is amazing. Now we can take a look at the folders and see where we can add our games. So we're going to exit out of Adrenaline. Let's go into Vita Shell. There we go. Let's locate our PSP EMU folder. UXO, PSP EMU, go to PSP game. And now you'll see all of your different emulators, right? But they're all gonna be in alphabetical order. And when you go to your USB drive or FTP client, you're gonna go under this folder and go into ROMs. And this is where you're gonna place all of your different games for that specific emulator and this one looks like it's a 2600 PSP 2600 let's go back here's the Pico drive let's enter that and there should be a folder called ROMs if not just create one create the folder and rename it ROMs and just add all your games in that folder uh, PSP 7800 here is another folder ROMs and this is where you're gonna copy all of your uh, games onto that folder. Here is the SNES folder 
and we're just going to create a new folder and you can always create it here or on your PC and you can just press a triangle and we can say new folder and we can rename this ROMs and there we go now we have a folder for our games and you enter into this folder and copy all of your uh, SNES games into this folder and you're good to go and that is it for this one guys any questions please comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you'd like for me to do a more in-depth review of each emulator or any questions on how do I do this do that let me know in the comment section down below and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up really helps me out a lot take care guys and I will see you on the next one.